Question one of the GED science practice test questions. It says a scientist was investigating if differences in the frictional work performed on the model car can change depending on its mass, depending on its mass, that's in grams, and whether the car moves up or down an inclined plane. They decide to measure the amount of frictional force experienced by the model car and the distance it traveled in meters. The scientists were able to evaluate the frictional work using the following data. So we have this um, table here. Okay, so uh, the, this, the first rows here, it says mass, distance, force, work done by friction in joules. This J is joules. Okay, then this says car going up inclined plane, plane, remember, moves up and down an inclined plane. So this is car moving up. Um, the mass, this first column is for the mass. This second distance force okay so we have all this data but let's first of all let's just quickly go down here let's quickly um, you know get everything and know what our question is um, ask what our question is okay it says it is known that the relationship between force and distance determines the work done by friction okay this is under physical science where we uh, talk about work okay where it says the formula of uh, work done by friction is what FD, that's force times distance. When you see F and D, it means force times distance. Okay? In your GED, you need not bother about cramming any formulas. Whichever question you're given, the formula will be given in the question. So there's really no memorization in the test. Okay? So we have here where W is the work done by friction. You see they've stated the term F is force, D is distance, okay? So when you see FD is times, okay? Remember your maths in algebra, all right? So the question now asks us, it says, how much work done by friction was exerted on the car as it moves down the inclined plane, as it moves down the inclined plane? So if we go back to our table. Um, this is car going up the inclined plane plane so these are the values we'll be given for the mass the distance and the force you see you don't they just put this mass here to confuse you you don't need the mass at all the formula is just your force times your distance so the only um, um, parameters you're going to look at is your distance and your force okay so and it says car uh, as it moves down the inclined plane so we go to the inclined plane and what are the values for our force and distance? The force is this, and the distance is what, 39. So it will be this times this. So we are going to have here the force 0 0.2309 times 39. And when we use your, you know, your Texas, your TIX, X, uh, X30, okay, you punch in these values, you're going to get a 9.0051. And when you approximate, to three decimal places, you're going to have a 9.005. Okay, so B is our answer here. Okay, and you can also, one th more thing, you can also test if you're, if you're correct still by if you multiply this and this, you're going to get this, which is the work um, done by friction when the car goes up the inclined plane. Okay, so it confirms that this is our answer is what right we are using the right parameters to get our work done by friction and which is which was stated in this formula here where wf is equal to fd which is force times distance okay thank you uh this, this is question one and this is going to be a series where i'll be taking you through several questions on your science and also your social studies and rla each maybe each day two times in a week all right so thank you from dtwgd prep don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and share this video to your friends family and loved ones preparing for the ged test and don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life see you in our next video and you are destined to win